When you think you're not good enough, how often do you spend time beating yourself up or comparing yourself to others? You see, for many it can become a daily ritual to look for evidence that you're not good enough, that you're a nobody, that you don't deserve to be loved or live up to your, your, your full potential. You see, there's a thing a virus, an epidemic virus in our society, and that's the need for conformity and acceptance. We feel as if there is something wrong with us if we're still single by a certain age, don't make a certain amount of income, don't have a large group of friends, a roof over our head that we can call our own, or don't look or act a certain way. Do you know what, that list just goes on. We get stuck in our head and allow this, our inner critic, that inner voice to completely rip apart our self-esteem until, you know, we hate ourselves so much. And here's my point. Reminding ourselves that we're a failure won't make us any more successful. Telling ourselves that we're not living up to our full potential won't help us to achieve a higher potential. And telling ourselves that we're worthless and unlovable won't make us feel any more worthy or loved. Sometimes in the midst of all that pressure, we forget about all the good things that are good about ourselves. So I want you to take a moment to consider that the people you compare yourself to often compare themselves to other people. And we all compare ourselves to other people and I can assure you that the people who seem to have it all very rarely do. The thoughts you have are just thoughts and they're your thoughts that you've created, not your boss, your partner, the person who cut you up in the car. So why give so much power to the negative ones? It's difficult to accept our situation when you're in a state of anger, sadness, fear, shame, anxiety, or even depression. So acceptance is a vital component in being good enough. You have to accept and make peace with the now before you can reach and feel satisfied with the later. And one thing you need to learn about making changes and going for the next rung in the ladder is that you can't feel completely satisfied with where you're going until, you're, until you can accept and acknowledge and appreciate where you are now. Only then can you focus on progress rather than perfection and on how far you've really come rather than how far you've left to go. We see it all around us. People strive for perfection and success. And when they fall short, they feel worthless and incapable. But what they don't realize is that they're working towards their goals, their dreams and aspirations, and are in themselves. Those little things are small accomplishments regardless of how many times they fail. There is no failure, it's just feedback as to what more needs to be done to achieve the next phase in your success. I know it sounds almost annoyingly simple, but you're enough just as you are, and you'll begin to like yourself even more every time you remind yourself of that. Anyway, I hope that video helps. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like and share and share your thoughts with me. Stick a comment in the comment box below and if I can help, I will. Take care and bye for now.